Welcome to the channel. Hopefully this helps somebody out. If it does, please like and subscribe. We're going to talk about bin and queue files and why it's not why your games are not showing up in your emulator. I'm using DuckStation. As you can see here, this is a four disc game. And you can see here, this is supposed to be a three disc game, but only one disc is showing up. And that's because when I ripped my games using ImageBurn, all of my files were named improperly, and DuckStation couldn't find the files because of the naming. So even though disk one works, the rest of the disks are not being registered. So to fix that, I'm just going to show you here. So this is a single disk game. You're going to have a bin file and a queue file. Well, the problem is, is when I used image burn, every bin file was named disk one, image one. Um, same with here. It was, this is a four disk game. So it was one, two, three, four bins and four queues. So it was disk one, disk two, disk three, disk four, and not image one, image two, image three, image four. So you, you're going to probably say, well, why am I saying image? Well, if you open up your Q file, it's going to show that that's the name of the file is image.bin. So that's what you need to change your bin file to. If it's other than that, it's not going to recognize the bin file. So for me, it was trying to open it up in VLC player for some reason. So if you go to properties, go to general, opens with, change this to either notepad or word pad, pad to be able to read your Q file. So for Final Fantasy VII here, as I was showing you, it was only reading one disk. That's because I only renamed one of the files to show you kind of what was going on. Um, as you can see here, this is disk one, disk two, disk three. Now, for my Q files, it actually named it Final Fantasy VII. So you want to make sure you check each one of your Q files. And whatever is in this file is what you need to name your bin file for it to be recognized properly in your duck station or whatever program you choose to use for your PlayStation 1 games. Um, now, as you can see here, I have Final Fantasy space 1.bin. Now, you don't have to put a space. Um, you don't have to use parentheses around the one. You can do it however you like, but for your bin files, have to have the dot .bin at the end of it. Uh, your Q files, if you actually go here to properties, you'll actually see that it does show a dot Q at the end of it. So for some reason, if you get done and it's still not finding it in DuckStation, you could try to add that dot Q at the end of the file for your Q files. Um, so after I renamed them, it still didn't show up. What you have to do is go to rescan all games. And then they popped up in the duck station. Um, so once you're playing the game and you finally finish disc one, it's going to ask you to pop in another disc. I'm assuming I haven't played it long enough to know, but then you would just hit disc two and then hit select. So there's another way you could do this in game on your keyboard. You just hit escape, and then you can here it'll take you, and then you can do just change disk. Now, let's say you have a bin file, but you have no Q files. 
and you need to add a Q file. Either you deleted them or, or something happened where you just didn't end up with a Q file. They have a Q maker. So if you go to your web browser and just type in Q maker, it should take you to this website right here. And I'll highlight it in this case you can't see it very well. Now all you're gonna do is take your bin files. So this is a three disc game, and each one of these bins you have to drop into here. But you can only do one at a time. You can't just highlight all three and then drop it in. So just to make it easier for me, I'm gonna go back to this one since it's a single disc. I'm going to take this bin and drop it into this. Now it's going to auto generate a Q file for you to download. So you're going to download it. And then what you would do. is just cut this and paste it into the file directory that you have that bin in. Um, you can see here, so all it did was make a, a replica of this Q file that I already have. I've already had it, so I don't need it. Now, like I said before, if this was a multi-disc game, you would copy that in. If this was the Q for disc one, you would put image one. Now for the next disc you would take the second bin file and then drop it into that program and so forth. So hopefully that helps somebody out as far as getting your games recognized in the duck station. Um, if you have any questions leave it in the comments and I can see what I can do for you. Thanks.